hi guys welcome back to the channel today in this video we're going to be drafting the pattern for this beautiful bustier top so guys to start off this tutorial i've already drafted out a basic bodice pattern so if you don't know how to do this at all check out my previous videos i have a video on the channel already where i shared how to draft a basic bodice pattern so this first line here is our shoulder line and now from the shoulder line down to this next line this is the chest line from the shoulder line to the other line here this is the bust line this one here is the under bust line ub and then we have the waistline and lastly we have the hemline which is um the same as the full length of our top so this is basically all the next thing we're going to do now is to come over to this shoulder slope here and whatever you have on the shoulder slope what you're going to do is divide it into two equal halves so as you can see i'm just using my tape to do this division so just make a point there and from that point you're going to connect a straight line to meet the boss point so guys after connecting this line to the boss line you are going to come down to this part labeled ub which is the under bust and on this under bust line you're going to come out from both sides of your dart leg that's from the dart legs come out by half of an inch and if you are busty if you are someone who is busty you can go ahead and come out by about 0 0.7 inches instead of 0 0.5 so for me i'm not very busty so i'm coming out i came out by half of an inch and as you can see from this new half of an inch point i came out with i'm just connected it down to the end of the dart on the hemline so guys after connecting your dart to the hemline from this point again you are going to connect a curve to meet the top of your dart, just like you see me doing like this so can you see what i just did so now i'll just use a ruler to connect this back to the bust point so this is what we have right now so guys the next thing we're going to do is on this under bust line here you're going to measure what you have inside the dart so the dart intake we have here so by the time i was done taking my measurement i had one and a half inch here so that one and a half inch we're going to replace it at the top so now for the top here one thing i can i want to explain here is that you can decide to maintain this chest line or you go up a little bit from the chest line now this is totally up to you so i've decided to go up from the chest line by one inch so i made a point there i've gone up from the chest line by one inch if you don't want to go up you can definitely maintain the chest line as it is right now so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do is like i measured before i told you guys that when i measured what i had in between the under bust line i had one and a half inch so i'm going to divide that into three so whatever you have divide it into three and give one part to the side going towards the middle of your blouse and whatever is left give it to the other side so what i had was one point zero point five so i gave zero point five to the part going towards the middle and what i have left was one inch so i gave that to the other side so the other side of the top part is going to be deeper than the one going towards the middle just like you see in this video right now so guys this is what we have right now so the next thing i want to go ahead and do is at this top here i want to tighten up our bust area so i'm just going to come out by a quarter of an inch on both sides here and i will just connect it back into the bust line just like you see me doing like this So guys when you connect your new lines it means that we are getting rid of the old ones so we don't need these ones anymore so this is it for the top part of this bustier so guys the next thing i want to go ahead and do is this little space in between the armhole area here i'm going to divide whatever i have here into two equal halves so i just made a point there so from that point i'm going to come down by one inch so what i'm going to do now is from the top of my cup side here i'm going to connect a curve to meet that point so can you guys see what i just did here so after doing that i will just connect this into the side of the top so guys after doing this now we are going to work on the neck part of this the center front 
now on the neckline is a very deep yoke that stops at the under bust if you see the um picture we are following so first of all i'm just going to connect a sweetheart neckline with my curve rule as you see here so after doing that we have gotten the general neckline for this um blouse so the next thing i want to do is determine how wide we want this yoke, yoke to be so the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do is to take a measurement of how wide the yoke is going to be so you know this paper is in a fold so if you decide to um, measure one inch that means by the time you open up your neckline the yoke will be about two inches wide so i just marked one and a half inch here i made a point there so i'm i want by the time i'm done with this it will be about three inches wide so i just from that point connected a slant to meet the under bust just like that so that's basically all for the joke and everything about this blouse every other thing i'm going to be doing now is to add my body measurements so on this chest line i'm going to first of all mark my bust measurement divided by four and after marking that i'll measure the that intake that we have here replace it which i just did and then i added one and a half inch for stitching allowance next we are going to come down to this waistline here so you're going to divide your waist measurement by four and make a point there then as you can see i measured my dart and replaced the dart intake and then added one and a half inch for stitching allowance and then on the hemline which is the end of the top i just mark my hip measurement divided by four and i added stitching allowance to that so right now forget about the plenty marks the only one you're interested in is the last ones so i'm just going to go ahead and join them together with my ruler so guys you can see how nicely this shape is looking already so now the next thing i want to do is from this hemline here i came up by one inch this is just for me to give this blouse a kind of shape on the side so if you don't want to do this it's totally fine as you can see i'm just connecting this into the other part of the top so this is basically it for the front part of this top let's go ahead and cut it out so guys these are all the pieces for the front part of this top this tiny one is going to be the yoke which we are going to be cutting out with a net so now let's go ahead and cut the back pattern so guys as you can see i've already drafted out the back pattern and right here i have about one and a half inch zipper allowance here so um the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is to start taking our measurements on this pattern as well so you can see that also i've drafted out the, the, the dart and for the back pattern the dart went all the way to the chest line so now the first thing i'm going ahead to do is to divide this little space in between an, our armhole just like we did in front so we came down by one inch and we're just going to connect it into the side of this blouse so this top line is the chest line this is the bust line this is the under bust line waistline and like we had in front the last one is the hemline and up here we have the shoulder line so we just created this line here because the front and the back must have the same size or else one part will be longer than the other so now the next thing we want to do is to get the neckline so now this totally depends on how deep you want your neckline to be at the back you can be make it as deep as using the bust line um, for the depth of your back but for this one i just decided to just make a little slant a little slant a little bit below the chest line and i just connected it into this first line that we had on the side so um, this is what i want to use for the depth of the back so guys the next thing i want to do is to just use my marker to trace out our dart so that it's more visible on this pattern paper so now we'll go ahead and add back our body measurements so on this chest line you divide your bust measurement by four and then add one and a half inch for stitching allowance after that you come down to the waistline divide your waist measurement by four because we have a dart intake here as you can see i just measured it and i replaced it back and then i'm adding general one and a half inch for stitching allowance and then we'll come to the hemline divide your hip measurement by four and then add 
half one and a half inch for stitching allowance and as you can see i'm just going to join the last lines as well just like i did on the front pattern so guys just like i did in front from the end of this side here we're going to have to come up by one inch again and then slant it into the blouse so that the front and the back is exactly the same you don't want one side looking different from the other so guys now that you're true with this if you want to use zipper for your blouse this other part that i'm going to be doing now is not for you but for me i want to use a loop for the back of this um blouse so from the um zipper line here i'm taking one and a half inch in so i'm going in by one and a half inch and i'm going to be cutting it away so that um that one and a half inch is going to give me space at the back of my blouse for my loop to sit in so as you can see i just created that line and i'm just drawing circles around so that you guys remember and it's obvious that i'm going to be having a loop there so i'm just going to cut away this other part i just marked so let's go ahead and cut out the back pattern so guys this is basically it for the pattern drafting tutorial for this top so this side here is the side back and it's going to be facing this direction and this will come in like this and then i have the pieces for the front as well um as you can see remember we cut this earlier so this one right here is the side front and then we have the center front and this is going in this direction and then this right here is going to be our yoke so i'll just go ahead and use my pattern to cut out on my actual fabric so as you can see i'm just placing my patterns on my actual fabric in my next tutorial i am going to be sharing with you guys how to stitch this together to get this beautiful top we have here so if you're yet to subscribe to the channel please do well to hit on the subscribe button turn on notification bell and don't forget to share this video with your friends i'll see you guys in my next one